How's it going guys, Vlad here and welcome to the sixth Arduino tutorial which is a follow-up on the previous one where we installed the bootloader on the Atmega328 which is the heart of the Arduino and in this tutorial we're going to take a look on how to actually implement uh, this IC into your project by first breadboarding a very simple example, so the blink example from Arduino uh, for this particular tutorial you're going to need a couple of jumpers, you're going to need a breadboard, you're going to need your LED with a 220 ohm limiting uh, resistance, you're going to need your oscillator, so 16 megahertz uh, crystal, you're going to need two 22 picofarad uh, capacitors, you're going to need a push button as well as a resistance for the um, reset pin of the microcontroller. Uh, so without any further delay, let's take a look at what we actually need to connect and assemble for your circuit to work on a breadboard. Alright, so what I have here is the Atmega 168 pin mapping diagram, which is equivalent to the 328 as well. So let's take a look at what we actually need for the Arduino to function on a breadboard. So first of all, over here you have the reset pin. So this is where we're going to actually um, pull it up to... 5 volts to avoid resetting and we're going to include a push button to push button to the ground so if we want to reset the uh, the whole circuit we're going to just press on the push button we're go going to also connect the VCC the ground I'm going to connect the ground over here AVCC also so these are mandatory connections for your uh, chip to work. Also, the Arduino uses an external oscillator, uh, which we're going to have to connect. So as you can see, there's an OSC1 and OSC2 pins. So we're going to place a crystal here, right? And each crystal pin, and this is specified once again in the Atmega328 data sheet, requires a capacitor so there's going to be a capacitor here going to the ground and there's going to be a capacitor here going to the ground so those are the 22 picofarad capacitors the blink example for the Arduino as you all know goes on digital pin 13 so notice that this pin is not pin 13 but pin 19 on the microcontroller so pay close attention because a lot of the pins differ so you need to actually make sure when you program in the Arduino language you understand which pin you're programming on the microcontroller um, so let's grab the breadboard and connect whatever uh, pins we have specified over here all right so here's our standard breadboard let's put in the IC like so where we have a VCC on pin number seven that's pin number seven we have AVCC on pin 20 so that's two three that's over here that is done so now our IC is powered let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better we have our ground right below the power supply that is the ground we have an other ground on the other side so one thing to notice also I have the bootloader as well as the sketch loaded onto these uh, at Mega so make sure you do that before you take it off the um, the Arduino so digital pin 13, as I mentioned, is located over here instead of um, where you would normally find it. Let me just move it over here like so. So here I'm going to connect the LED. So we're paying attention to the long lead. So plus is always the long lead. Okay, so that's the LED. 
as I said, we have a crystal on pin 9 and 10. So that would be right here. Like so. We have two capacitors to plug in uh, between the each pin of the oscillator and the ground. Like so. And finally, our push button for the reset. Put it over here. So this is the reset pin, which is going to be um, going to one side of the push button. And we're going to, uh, to have it go to the ground. And also, we're going to pull it up with a very high resistance. This is done to prevent any resetting. If you have, you have any spikes going on uh, on the reset pin, your uh, chip may reset unexpectedly. So you should always bring this pin to high. Alright, so this is the circuit. Um, I hope everything is fairly clear from the video. Um, let's plug in the power. I have already a 5 volt um, power supply so I don't need to do any conversions. Now let's take a look at how it actually functions. Alright, so I have plugged in the power uh, 5 volts onto the rail and as you can see the LED which would be a pin 13 of the Arduino is currently blinking so this is the basic bling sketch loaded onto it. Uh, I had made a small mistake on the push button. Actually, the open side is um, over here. So as you can see, if I push the button and hold it down, nothing's going on because the reset is pulled to low. So nothing is happening on the Atmega. If I let it go, uh, you get that usual blinking uh, when the Arduino boots up. So everything is working as expected. As you can see, there's not that many components that you actually need to make a project uh, an external project work with just the, Ardu uh, just the Arduino loaded onto an Atmega328. So feel free to experiment. Let me know which projects you actually built. Uh, if you actually incorporated uh, the whole Arduino in your project or if you decided to go this route and replace uh, this board with just the Atmega328. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, Make sure to subscribe, leave me a comment for what else you would like to see. Uh, thank you very much. Bye.